afternoon, guys and gals. with Brian, Buckley Woods, man. It's uh, November 25th, 2020 today. Beautiful uh, autumn, fall day here in Ohio. Uh, I don't know, mid 40s and raining. But hopefully the rain's washed me something out. I'm going to go hit the field and see if I can uh, find anything. So I'm going to the Gorget Pendant field. But I hope everybody's uh, staying safe and healthy and wish everybody a happy early Thanksgiving. So, you know, an update on my large bifurcate McCorkle that I found, uh, I think it was in the summer, July, I believe. It's really nice. If you didn't see that video, go back and watch that video. But uh, entered it in the uh, November this month's uh, Ohio Archaeological Show and won first place. So. It'll be up for uh, best find of the year. So that was pretty cool. But other than that, thanks to all my subscribers, new and old. Appreciate y'all. All right, you're seeing this. Found something cool. Later. Yo, finally come upon my first almost complete find. Got a piece of pottery and a couple of broke pieces, but let's see what we got here. A little Madison. Not bad. A little tip dang on it. But cool. We'll take it for now. Hopefully we'll come across something with some notches and a little bit a little bit nicer, but I'll take that. Alright, get back with you. Hey good afternoon guys and gals. Brian Buckley Woods Man's uh November 27th today out doing a little walking again on a new site got a little dirt kicked over here and I just walked upon a killer looks real pretty pretty material you see it down there in the middle of the screen I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving and look at there that is uh, pretty, some sort of bifurcate, but she's all there. He just scraped a little bit of this dirt, had a pumpkin patch in here, and man, rolled that out. Look at that thing. Oh boy, wow. Dag on, that's some pretty material. twist to it like a, some sort of large bifurcate a corkle type thing made out of some really pretty flint ridge dag on that's nice just been here about 15 minutes too just thinking I wasn't seeing much material but it only takes one to make the day That's killer. The old quartz inclusion or something in it right there. That's a nice one. That'll clean up nice. All right, well, I'll get back with you. Find anything else. Just got here, so hopefully something else comes out. If not, that's my day maker, my week maker right there. Later. Brian Buckley Woods Man, it's October, uh, November 28th today, out metal detecting, using the old Garrett AT Max, zero mode, zero discrimination, sensitivity all the way up, beautiful fall day here in Ohio, just got me a button, and I got me a screamer that wasn't too far down, looks like I might have a copper, if so, that'll be my first one of the year, yes sir. Farm field fresh copper. There's still targets out here. You never find everything. That's a nice one. Nice large scent. I can get 
get a date off of it. Should be able to. Looks like it's in real good shape. Looks like a 47. 1847 large scent. Great shape. All right, I'm gonna get a toothpick on it before it drives up. All right, get back with you. Find anything else later. All right, I'm gonna do a uh, clean up of my last uh, week or so's hunts. That's my plate of goodies there. Go over some of the metal detecting finds first. Got a couple porcelain buttons. Here's a little snap button. Some flat buttons, no design on it. Another one here. Some back marks, but no design on the front. Another little flat button. A little instrument reed. F down here, the bottom right there, and then my large scent, beautiful shape, 1847, had not found one in a while, I was happy with that one, and then for my native finds, got a bunch of pottery here, pottery shards, uh, this would have been a beautiful Madison. I didn't get it on tape. But it's like a piece of piece of glass. So it looks like ice. But it's got that one little ear ding there. Would have been beautiful. Still is beautiful. But That's why I can't be. I can't hunt right now. I've got about two inches of snow out back. And my oh, these were a couple pieces of melted lead. And my pin pointer's down. I wore a hole in it <laughs> over the last year and a half or so. I uh, just got some various parts and pieces. This is an intrusive mound. That would have been nice. Tip ding. This is that triangle Madison I found. Too bad. A little, little tip thing. And just some pieces of bone, charred bone. I'll find that with all that pottery. And for my find of the week, this beautiful, uh, I think it's some sort of bifurcate, transitional bifurcate. Tips just reworked like that. Very pretty material. A little thicker. And it's got that inclusion in it there. If I can hold it up, you can see the translucency. Let me see if I can get some more light here. The sun's not even out, but highly translucent. Real happy with that one. Let's see if I can show you with it. Show you with my light or not. So we can set it up here. Sun's not out. It's hard to. Let me see how the transition is. <clears throat> Real pretty material. And that's Flint Ridge, but I'm not real sure. But that was it for the last couple weeks. So. Yeah, like I said, I'll be shut down for a little while until that snow melts or until I get a new pinpointer. Maybe I'll go out and detect a little bit. But no rocks for now. So, all right. Well, hope everybody's uh, doing well, staying safe and healthy. Till next time. Later.